Hello and welcome to my new video. In this video we will talk about breadboards. Most of my projects or toys is maybe a better word. So most of my toys are made on breadboard. Only if I use something very often I will design PCB. In this video I wanted to talk about planning breadboard layout. Yes, sometimes it's good to figure it out what is best way to connect all these modules, components and wires. For example, here I have this great game. I made this game yesterday, it is very fun, I need to shoot uh, these targets and blah 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 blah. I will talk about this game later. I will also give you code if you want to try this. But I wanted to show you this because this breadboard or this project is mess. Many jumper wires. If I accidentally pull only one of these, I will be lost. It is very hard to see all the connections. Three years ago all my projects, projects were like this one. And then I started to use these little wires. This maybe looks like uh, randomly placed wires, but if I add this ESP32 board, if I add this display, this joystick module two push buttons and battery of course voila I have same project like this mess. I have different components, different ESP32 board, different display, but sketch is the same and package is much nicer, cleaner and this project is neat. These tiny wires can help you a lot and they are very cheap. I have this case uh, which is full of them. You can find them on Banggood, you can find this uh, 140 pieces pack or here is bigger 560 pieces pack. Links are in description, feel free to check them out. Prices change very often on Banggood so keep that in mind. They are very easy to use and with these little wires your project will look much nicer. Not your project, your breadboard will look much nicer. Also you can help yourself by editing a library pin configuration. In past I used mostly Arduino. Here are most used Arduino boards. Arduino Uno and Arduino Nano. Ardu Arduino Nano is breadboard, breadboard friendly, but they are practically the same. Pins on Arduino uh, are defined. For example, there is only one pair of I2C pins, A4 and A5. But ESP32 on the other hand is much better, because you can use other pins for I2C protocol. Let's take a look on uh, these displays. They both use same driver and I'm using TFT ASPI library by Budmer to control them. In this library you can find setup file for each driver for TFT displays. Uh, lots of people will connect the display to default pins because they are used to do it like that. Uh, but it is easier to edit file in uh, in that library and then create mess with jumper wires. So I, I edited library on the way I can connect these two modules very easy. 
I will only need two additional wires for ground and VCC. Ok, first step was planning, next is don't use these and last try modify code and libraries instead making mess on your breadboard. Now I will show you how to make this game. This is one minute game. Point is to shoot these targets. I can aim with this joystick module and shoot with this push button. If I hit target I will get 5 points, if I miss it I will get minus 1 point. So I need to be very careful. Also I need to reload my ammo every 5 shots. This button is used for reloading. Under I can see my statistics, my hits, my miss, sh shots and accuracy. You can find code in the description like always. You can modify code, you can for example change speed of aim or speed of target to make game easier or harder. Or you, if you change this variable you can make game longer and short or shorter. For this game you will need any ESP32 board, joystick module and any 240 by 240 displays. In description you can find links of all these components. Uh, this is my new setup with a new display and new TTGO ESP32 board. And this is old setup. You saw this couple in my older videos. Uh, this old setup is cheaper and this one is newer and much more expensive. This ESP32 have this better connector and built-in battery charger. Also if I try to compare a new display with old one you will see that this one is much nicer. Colors are more cleaner and natural and build quality is also nicer but price is also much higher. If you are planning to use these new modules you can connect them this way. Keep in mind that you will need to modify TFT SPI library. You will go in library folder you will find setup number 22 AST7789 and you will set up it like this. And if you want to use older and cheaper version you can connect them like this and you can find my tutorial how to use this display with ESP32 board. Links are in the description. And that's it. I hope you learned something and please tell me what is your high score in this game. Thank you and have a nice day. Feel free to subscribe or to buy me a coffee and if you have some problems with setup or connecting these modules please ask me in comments or you can send me email. Thank you and goodbye.